So now, let's see how to work with multiple layers and move drawings across multiple layers inside of Toon Boom. So for this, I have my XC turned on. So to access the XC, you simply have to go to Windows and then click on XC and I drag it on over here. So now let us start working with the drawing. So I'm going to go over here and uh, maybe like work around with the frames right over here. So I'm just going to go over to the first frame right over here on my drawing and I'm just going to draw something like a circle right over here. So one circle right over there on frame one and one circle right over here on frame two. So that's what I have in the first drawing layer. So let me just add in another drawing layer over here. Let me just press Control Z. So let me add another drawing layer over here, vector drawing, that's fine. And now I'm going to have another drawings over here. So on the top, I'm just going to make something like a square that actually differentiates what's there in the first and what's there in the second. So on the first layer, there's the square. On the se second, there's the circle, as you can see. So now these are the different drawings that I have right over here. So let's say that I want to bring the first drawing right over here from the top, that is the square, in the second layer right over here on the bottom. So in that case, let me try to do one thing. Let me just go over here onto the first layer. I'm going to press, uh, I'm just going to click and drag this down and let's see what happens. So I actually drag that layer up from the top over here. So if I were to actually go over here, you don't actually see any square over there. So you don't actually see square, but circle itself. So what it actually did was when I drag the layer from top to bottom, it actually just uh, dragged the number from over here and it just referenced the number right over here. So you don't get the drawing, but you get the same frame as you'd get over here. So you got this frame right here, you got this frame over here again, and then you got this frame. So let me just press Control Z over here and work around with this. So I'm just going to uh, now solve this out. So I want the square drawing itself on this layer at the bottom. So for that, what I need to do is I need to rename these layers. So to rename uh, these layers, it might seem tedious, but if you want to work around with multiple layers and you want to copy the drawing, then it'll pay off in the long run, especially when you have a lot of frames. And this was quite common in traditional animation era as well, where each frame were named differently rather than this one too. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to right click over here, and then I'm going to uh, go over here onto drawings. And here you have an option right here to rename the drawing right over here. So you can go over here and click on rename drawing, and I'm going to go to uh, and rename this as A1, just like this. And you can go to uh, the second drawing as well. And uh, instead of right clicking now, I'm going to press uh, Control D, D, which actually uh, brings up the rename panel right over there. So on the rename panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in A2 just like this and press OK, just like that. So you can see that this is uh, how the renaming works. So now if I were to actually drag in the drawing, this, so the square is on the top. If I were to click and drag this down over here, what happens is that the drawing itself is actually brought in. That is because the, these have a different name. So that is how you can bring uh, the layer on the down layer, just like this. But if I were to go over here, you can see that the layer is empty. But if I were to press A1 uh, right over here, just go over here, press A1, press Enter, the drawing still pops up on the top as well. So here you can see that A1 is there as well. So that is how you can actually work around to work with drawings in multiple layers. So this might be quite different than uh, the programs that you're used to uh, if, um, if you use other animation programs, but this is a bit of a different in uh, Toon Boom Harmony, as you can see. So that is how you can work with multiple layers and, multi uh, and uh, work around with multiple uh, drawings inside of uh, Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.